anyone <coughs> can know, but is to encourage us to come together. Those of us that were fortunate to have traveled to Monrovia for the 164th Independence Day celebration in Liberia, we saw, you know, many a times we read what is on the internet or people would call, but it was so good <coughs> that we went. Yeah. Members that were on the uh, committee, I know the Honorable <coughs> Chairman of FLY, Mr. Zakama, Mr. Konaku, the Chair of OLM, his wife who was on the medical relief team, and I was also on the team, uh, it is Phillips, Sita Phillips. We saw a lot of things. We sit here and criticize, but that's not all to it. It's good to criticize, but what can you do after your criticism? Yeah. You have seen it. Government mm -hmm. alone cannot do it. Mm -hmm. I don't care who <laughs> says what. The great America you live in, uh, uh, what do you call it, philanthropism, is what is leading the road. Yeah. The, 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 the Obama administration cannot do everything. Ellie mm -hmm. uh, Salif Johnson will not do everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went to Foya Hospital, Polaro Hospital. It was discouraging. Because mm. you probably, uh, about a quarter of a mile away, the fragrance, let me say it that way, mm -hmm. was not healthy at all. <coughs> the people have to practically walk a quarter of a mile mm -hmm. to get water to come back. And they're telling you they have an OR with a lapa hanging. Mm. I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. People yeah. are here. Yeah. We're part of it. And I know with, my, uh, with our meeting with the Lofa Caucus, some of us voiced it out. Mm -hmm. And mm. particularly, I mean, I voiced that out. It was highly discouraging. Mm -hmm. So I would pray that we put down all that. We got all the master degrees, all the PhDs. Do not mean a thing to me if we do not come together and do things for the betterment of our people and that of our nation. Yeah. We need it. If we have to beg, Yes, let me say I'm begging now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say it and I, I am wholeheartedly begging that we need to do something and put all the big book behind us. <coughs> but it does not leave us anyway. No. When Tobo used to say deeds and not words, that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. The words are there, we've learned all the book. <laughs> So we need to put it into actions, especially so when we have visited, we have seen mm -hmm. the situation there is deplorable. Mm -hmm. This organization needs to put our acts together, mm -hmm. otherwise we are doomed for failure. Without much ado here, I would like to welcome on behalf of the association, LAM, locally, the chairman and the president of FLAC, <coughs> to say one or two things. <coughs> the head of our delegation to Monrovia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many minutes? Too long. Let me put it out for you. Well, Mr. Johnson, thank you. I think you have spoken very much on everything because my, I really came purposely to entice members of the Federation to really rethink what would be your resolution come 24. Mm -hmm. Are you going to remain in your solitary life and criticize without getting out to commit to what you really think you have been criticizing because you are we all, I mean, there's nothing wrong criticizing. I mean, I want to say that, uh, you know, 
I would have said, going through the protocol, recognize everybody, but you know, we have already met one another. So I'm here purposely to really encourage Lopez, Prince of Lopa County, that having touched on some key points, he spoke directly of the FOIA situation. That's the poster child of our visit. That area alone tells us that we have a lot of work to do. Sitting and not helping your Lofa County where your mother or father came from going to lie in ruin. Lofa has really become a virgin land. Mm -hmm. We saw it. All the forests have grown maturely. 